Hello, my name is Emma Kyungmi and I caught COVID. So it all started when a friend that I met for dinner contacted me and told me that she just tested positive for COVID. I was at work and didn't have any symptoms, but I did a test, a self test right away, uh, which came back negative. But as I was finishing work that day, I felt like my throat was getting a little bit itchy, but I wasn't sure if it was my mind playing tricks on me. Um, so I took a couple self test kits home from work um, just in case and decided to just see how I felt in the morning. The next morning came around and I felt like I woke up and immediately tested myself and of course it came back positive which meant that I had to isolate myself in quarantine for seven days. I wanted to make this video to show you guys how I got my hands on food while I was in quarantine and to share with you guys the awesome pedal or delivery system we have in Korea. I had this whole plan of like vlogging all my meals um, while in quarantine but COVID and some epic brain fog got the best of me um, so I ended up just filming random stuff here and there and none of it is like coherent or makes sense. <laughs> So I've tried my best to piece together all my random clips into something coherent and interesting um, that I hope you guys will enjoy. First off, I ordered some groceries such as basic non-perishable foods as well as some fresh fruit and veg. I like to use Coupang Fresh to buy my groceries online. Coupang is sort of like a Korean version of Amazon with all of its convenience and human rights violations. I try not to shop online too much but it really is just so useful when you're stuck at home. I was really craving strawberries this day, so I searched for some, but they were all too pricey for me to justify buying. I had already picked some stuff out before I started screen recording and was ready to pay. Here you can see that I bought some apples and oranges to add to my morning smoothies. I also got some veggie dumplings and vegan ramen noodles as quick and easy meal options. I added some 92% dark chocolate to add to my oatmeal. Finally, I added a jump rope to try and get some cardio while I was locked up. I made my order, went to bed, and when I woke up the next morning, everything was sitting by my door ready to be unpacked. Good morning, it's the next day. <clears throat> I woke up and I got my delivery of stuff that I ordered yesterday on Kupang. I'm watching Arcane on the TV, um, and Kiki is enjoying a good little snack down there. Can you see? And I got a bit hungry, it's about lunchtime anyway. So I just fixed myself some oatmeal with dark chocolate and just a little drizzle of honey i just put the chocolate on top there and it's like now melting down <laughs> so it's a bit of a sweet snack slash lunch and i've just got some robust tea right here for dinner today i'm going to be cooking up this the vegan ramyun that i bought on kupang and these vegetarian um mandu so i'm gonna cook it all just in the same pot and because of my covid brain i did not film the finished product um it was pretty good except that i started losing my taste this evening <laughs> so i could barely taste the spicy lamian soup but it still felt good inside you know any true asian will always recognize that feeling of the hot and spicy soup it's okay that i couldn't taste the soup because that feeling is what I needed this evening. <laughs> now, the next day was actually my last day of work at my job that I'd had for two years. So it was actually kind of a big deal and I wanted to celebrate because this was my first proper job after university. It was kind of a big deal and I wanted to celebrate even though I was by myself in quarantine. So I decided to order some beef on Kupang Mat, which is a service I had never used before, but it's a grocery service on their food delivery app, um, which you can pick out groceries and have it delivered to your door in like 10 to 15 minutes. It's really cool. Um, so I tried it out and ordered some beef to barbecue and some other veggies and stuff to eat on the side. I look so bad right now, but that's okay because I'm really sick. My Kupang Eats Mata delivery just ar arrived, so I'm going to show you guys what that's like. <clears throat> First of all, I get a notification when they're here, but um, I always wait a few minutes 
about five minutes before I head out just in case they're like waiting at the elevator so that there's no way that they get in contact with me. Um, but it's been about 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna head out and grab my stuff. So I'm just gonna head out here. And there it is. Thank you, delivery people. So we have this, oops, we got this. Oh, and there's some bits down here. These are the gnips. Here we have, whoa, that's a lot of mushrooms. We have enoki, I think, these are in English. Tangy butter, enoki mushrooms. And then here we have <coughs> Australian toji. Beef. I honestly don't know if it's a good cut of beef because I'm really bad with meat. But it was one of the cheaper options, so that's gonna be my dinner. Got my mushrooms going and I'm just gonna put a drizzle of sesame oil over. And this is my finished meal. I've got some kimchi, I've got some perilla leaves and enoki mushrooms, and then the beef that I cooked up, just some microwave rice that I had stocked up, um, some sesame oil and salt, and then um, kimchi jjigae with <clears throat> leftover veggies and tofu from takeaway the other day this is a lot of soup so i probably won't finish it and i also got a glass of wine because i finished work and i'm celebrating cheers i'm so like stuffy and greasy and gross right now <laughs> i can't believe i'm filming myself to put on like and with that that pretty much wraps up my video as well as doing my grocery shopping online like i showed you i also order takeout uh every now and then i tried not to order too much takeout because it's it's pretty pricey eating like that all the time and there's so much like plastic waste that comes with eating like that so i try not to but i did order some takeout <laughs> but I didn't film any of that because I was loopy and it's pretty much the same and everywhere you go around the world everyone um, stay safe get vaxxed get boosted wear a mask keep your distance and if you know anyone in quarantine or isolation reach out to them because it's pretty lonely. I'm not a very social person. I don't really talk to people on the phone much, but a couple of friends and family checked in on me every day and that really did help a lot. So if you know anyone in isolation, reach out to them. But yeah, I think that wraps up this video. Don't forget to like, uh, comment and subscribe. Do all that kind of stuff. <coughs> and Thanks for watching. Bye.